Brian Wheeler, Kerry Eggers, and we are joined now by one of the newest Trailblazers. Uh, he came to town last week uh, to officially sign his contract and uh, meet everybody, and uh, he, uh, I'm sure, found out already about uh, how popular he's become in a short amount of time, and that would be Evan Turner. Evan, thank you again for the time tonight, uh, and uh, I, I know that uh, the Blazers were on your radar when the free agency period began. Uh, talk to us about how this seems like a, a good match for both sides uh, as you look forward to joining your new team. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, I, I'm excited because, uh, you know, I definitely know what type of uh, blue-collar guys they have, you know, besides the talented skill set, you know, of uh, some most of the players and, um, you know, the lethal, the lethal, lethal guards. I think um, my playmaking ability and, you know, getting people involved along with, you know, my versatility to mold well with, you know, a lot of guys on the team. So I was excited when I heard about, uh, you know, the, op the option of being able to go there presented itself and um you know I, I, pretty much when uh it solidified an offer was made you know i was done you know 9 a.m july 1st you know Evan, you in the, during your press conference you mentioned that brandon roy was uh one of your favorites uh when you were in college talk about that what did you like about b roy's game man i just thought uh he was so smooth you know once again versatile i think uh he had a big body. He was able to, you know, use his body in certain ways in regards to posting up. Like how he got to his mid-range and, you know, was able to create shots for himself off the dribble. I just thought, uh, you know, he made his teammates better and he won. You know, he was a winner. Uh, I was a, a big fan of him. So since you signed, Evan, uh, the Blazers also uh, signing Festus Azili as a free agent and uh, re-signing a couple of their restricted free agents, uh, matching the Brooklyn Nets offer sheet to Alan Crabb yesterday and before that, uh, re-signing Myers Leonard. May also bring back uh, Maurice Harkless. He's the last restricted free agent uh, that's uh, out there on the open market still right now. But it looks like it's going to be a very deep Blazers team that you're going to be a part of. Yeah, I think that's good, man. I, I think uh, especially when you think about the goals that uh, we all have in mind and everything like that, you, you have to be deep and you have to, you know, have a lot of guys who can play basketball and, you know, certain things uh, combat, you know, different matchups that you may face. Um, a lot of teams in the NBA have gotten better. So we need uh, all the versatility and all the, the depth that we, we can get. Evan, which of the Blazers uh, do you know personally and, and uh, what kind of a relationship do you have with any of your new teammates? I mean, honestly, I, I, it's funny. I've never really had a too deep of a uh, history in the, of a Maurice Harkless is drafted into Philadelphia, and uh, we worked out for a week, and he he, tra he got traded. And um, okay. I know Festus from a little while back. I never really knew Damien. Uh, CJ is from Ohio. I went to the Ohio State, so I was kind of familiar with it. Like Ed Davis, we came in the same draft class, but I never really had a deep, deep background with any, any one of them. So I definitely uh, have to get on that and, you know, build camaraderie and, uh, you know, a uh, uh, relationship with each one of my teammates. Big NBA news today. Tim Duncan, uh, future Hall of Famer, announces his retirement after uh, 19 seasons. Uh, where do you rank him in terms of uh, the great power forwards, maybe just great forwards that the NBA game has seen? Yeah, I mean, I've been watching him since I was nine. You know, he came into the NBA when I was like nine years old, so. To me, I think he was uh, the best power forward of all time. In just uh, 19 seasons, he made the playoffs 19 times. I think it's only two seasons he didn't have 50 win seasons. But, I mean, it's incredible. You know, five-time champion. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to say I was able to play versus him and watch him play for so long. And the game's going to be so different without him. I was, Evan, I was looking at your Wikipedia page. You've got a lot of nicknames. I was interested in two of them in particular, the Turtle and the Villain. Can you give us the uh, <laughs> beginning of those two? Oh, uh, yeah. When I was um, like 16 years old, one of me and my good friends, we were just joking around the class, making fun of each other. And there was like a picture on the wall of like a turtle. So he was like Evan Turtle. <laughs> and like you said, I had like a turtle head, like you know. And then somebody <laughs> told one of my buddies, and then it just stuck, and everybody called him Turtle for a little bit. <laughs> and then the villain was just the villain was just like a nickname that uh, one of my uh, college teammates he wrote a blog, and that's what he just nicknamed me. Because you were so tough on the opponents, or tough on your own team? Uh, yeah, no, I, I, no, no, the opponents, the opponents. <laughs> Good. But me and this college had like a love hate relationship, so it kind of, you know. We bond through insults. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>
Now, you, down, yeah, so. you downplayed this at your press conference uh, a little bit, but Neil O'Shea, who's not, uh, you know, prone to exaggeration, uh, said that uh, the dinner that he had the night before uh, you officially signed was uh, as entertaining from a comedy perspective as any that he's ever attended uh, courting a free agent. And uh, you said, uh, you know, you said it's a slow news day if, if you're being quoted a lot. But it seems like you know, people have gotten the impression that uh, not only can you be somebody to go to for a good quote, but uh, maybe for a for a good uh, good punchline as well. So is that something that just comes naturally for you? Yeah, I just think it's just the personality of my friends and that. We always just joke around and we look uh, – we look for funny moments to turn the spin or if something happens, we'll, we'll say, what if it happened this way or what if it happened that way? Just, you know, just enjoying yourself and just using your imagination, I guess, that's pretty much it. I can tell you we in the media appreciate that. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> you've, had, you've had good experiences in Philly and in Boston, but not so good in Indiana. What happened there, do you think? Uh, you came halfway through the season. <laughs> Yeah. There were thirty something games thirty something games left. Uh I think uh to a certain extent the roster and stuff like that was already set and uh when it came down to it, coach decided to cut cut uh cut rotations and myself and Luis Colo I thought was playing relatively well, we got, you know, kinda of cut throughout the playoffs, you know, and I never really had enough time there to get acclimated. And uh it's just you know, it's a great experience, but you know, the adaptation of things and uh at that time, my uh, somewhat notoriety or whatnot, it was, it was even uh, green-lighted or highlighted a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think people thought I was going to go there and, and play and score 15 a game and, you know, do this and the other. And, you know, it's hard to do that with six shots a game, you know. So <laughs> it happened the way it did, and I think I learned a lot of great things from there. And I comprehend, you know, a deep run in the playoffs, and I, and I want to get back to that. And I think this is an opportunity where where we can do that. Lastly, uh, what's the rest of your summer going to look like in terms of uh, getting to town, getting acclimated to uh, your new surroundings, and as you say, getting to know your new teammates? Yeah, um, I'm going to figure out right now. Right now, I'm in Santa Barbara working out on uh, working out for a little bit, just working on my game and my shot and stuff like that. And uh, you know, once we find a place to stay and all that, I'll, I'll be up there as soon as possible. Well, thanks. I appreciate uh, the visit tonight, and uh, we're certainly looking forward to uh, seeing you in a Blazer uniform. Uh, a lot of uh, expectations for what you're going to be able to bring to this club, and uh, I think everybody's excited to see you when we get around to uh, games in October, and uh, obviously we'll see you sooner than that. But thanks again for the time tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Look forward to seeing you all, too.